Well, I'm on Effects Mars. And I wish I had better news for you. What you're looking at here is a tanker called the Front Altair. It's uh, related. It's of U.S. interest, let's put it this way. I don't know all the legal stuff. Um, apparently, it was hit by a torpedo. And you see, what you're seeing is damage there, and I can't imagine, you know, on the side of a tanker like this just blowing out like that. And the other one that uh, they say is taking damage from mine was the Kokuka Courageous. They're claiming that it was hit by a magnetic mine, or hit a magnetic mine. And this is not good. This is not uh, terrorists, you know, ISIS or whatever. This is a state action. The Panama flagged Kokuka Courageous is believed to have been targeted by a magnetic mine causing a series of massive explosions on board. And here's where it gets worse. All 44 sailors on two ships were rescued after sending out the stress signals picked up by the U.S. Navy's Bahrain-based 5th Fleet, has been reported. They are believed to have been taken to Iran, which means they're prisoners, if that's true. They're prisoners of war. This is not a good thing here. Uh... Norwegian shipping firm Frontline, which owns the Altair, has denied Iranian reports that the tanker had sunk. So apparently these ships are adrift. I don't know. We're sending ships to help. But it looks to me like we got a serious problem here. At first I poo-pooed it, and now I'm saying, okay, we got trouble. Chartered by Taiwan State Oil... Refiner CPC Corporation, huge vessel sent out from UAE port of Ruiz on Tuesday and was due to arrive in unpronounceable on June 30th. Speaking of Reuters, the CEO of CPC's petrochemical division, Wu Ai Fang, said the tank was suspected of being hit by a torpedo. That's the Altair one. So it was carrying 75,000 tons of naphtha, a petrochemical feedstock, which trade sources estimate to be worth more than 530, more than 30 million, excuse me. And of course, uh, oil prices are rising and whatnot. This wasn't done by terrorists, if the reports are accurate. This is uh, an act of war. You can pretty much figure who did it. And like I said, those crews are prisoners of war now. I doubt we'll see light of day again. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this don't look good. This is after those Saudi oil tankers were reportedly attacked by Iran. I, uh... To get to go to the Persian Gulf, I, actually, it's only in the Gulf of Oman, but I saw the tanker war, and I saw the ships, you know, one ship sitting there hanging in the water uh, by one end. It wasn't a pretty sight. That's the tanker war between Iran and Iraq. Now, this is a lot worse. we we'll have to wait and see what happens with this, but it's bad news. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Keep your chin up. Uh, let's hope it turns out to be nothing, but I can't imagine that. Uh, they're insane over there. I'm Artifacts of Mars.